hashing. Today in this video, I'm going to be teaching you a technique which is used by all modern technologies to store every password that you have ever created in forms of hashes. Whether it be Google, Facebook, any big company, whether it be Apple or whether it be a Mac password, any local stored password, anything that you have ever stored is stored in the form of hashes. It is the base of our modern day cryptography. So it becomes very important for ethical hackers and cybersecurity analysts like you and me to deep dive into them so that we can secure these systems forward. In this video today, we'll be learning about what all hashes are and we'll be learning about a tool named Hashcat which is used to crack passwords using word list. Then to put the cherry on top, we'll be also creating our own Python tool to automate all of this stuff and which you can modify however you want with use of little bit of Python skills. Let's get started. So first, let me explain what hashing actually is and how it works in the real life. Consider a hash as a magic box. And this magic box has a name. Let's give it a name of SHA-256. Now, SHA-256, SHA stands for the algorithm that it uses and 256 stands for the number of zeros and ones in the algorithm. Now, let's take for example, I input a string A, B, C, D inside the box and the magic box will run its algorithms which is basically some complex mathematical equations and it will give me an output which looks something like this. This right here is a hashed value. Now what does it mean? It means that you cannot decode it back to the string, right? So if I give you this value right here, you cannot decode it back to ABCD. There is no perfect way to do it and that is only because the magic mathematical algorithms that runs between SHA-256. Now, just to give you an example of this hashing algorithm, it has 256 zeros and ones, which always convert to 64 characters. It's different for every single hash, but every hash will give you the same number of letters and integers with any length of the string. If I put A, B, C, D, it'll give me 64 characters. If I put the letter A, it'll give me 64 characters. Even if I put the entire English encyclopedia inside, it'll give me 64 characters. And that's just the magic of math on how it does it. And this is very crucial on how hashes work in the real life and how we can use these hashes to protect our website passwords, our login passwords, our computer passwords, and every single cryptographic algorithm that is running today and encrypting our information is because of hashing. There are a ton of hashing algorithms, but the main ones that even the cryptocurrency Bitcoin uses is SHA-256 and MD5. It is not physically possible to decode this back to ABCD. But what we can do, we can guess ABCD and then we can convert it to this hash and we can match it with it, right? So let's say I just get this hash and I want to decode it back. I create a ton of values which includes ABCD, which includes uh, Apple, which includes Ball and many other strings that I think which are common and I think that can be the value of this hash. And now there are tons of tools as we'll be creating in this video that convert this into the hash and match the hash value. If we find the hash value corresponding to this, we have found the value of the password or the string that we input it. If I put ABCD inside this magic box, it will will always come out to be the same hash value even if I run it n number of times and it will always come out to be 64 characters in case of SHA-256. So let's get started on how to install Hashcat. Hashcat, as I told you, is a tool that is used for word list hash cracking. So you cannot reverse a hash, but you can mix and match and try to get the right one. That's exactly what Hashcat does and let's see how it works. So this is the Hashcat GitHub page. I'll leave a link down in the description below. And here, as you can see, if you want to install it for Mac, there is an SH file. There are tons of SH files that you can use to just do dot slash and then you can start with Hashcat. And if you are in Windows, you can use this link of SourceForge and you can download it for Windows as well if you want. So I'm on a Mac system and I've already got it downloaded, so I won't be doing that. But if you are on a Mac or Linux system, you have to just copy this, go on your terminal, right? git clone, paste it, and it'll just get in your system. Then you can just do dot slash sh github and it'll work just fine. So I already have Hashcat installed, right? So as you can see, I'm getting these options. That means I have Hashcat installed. And if you're on a Linux system, you can just type sudo apt get 
install hashcat and it's most probably you will have it already installed if you are using a Kali Linux system right so after you've done this I'm just gonna go on my root directory because there is where I have stored all my files my root directory so now we need to create two files so first let me show you what hashcat actually can do so I'm gonna type hashcat help right so everything here is what hashcat is capable of so these are all the flags that you can use i'm not going to bore you with all of them but just to give you a few of them first we will have to specify the hash type which type of hash are we cracking whether it be md5 or tasha256 then we are going to be specifying the attack mode and all of that is given just below so here are all the codes to all the hashes so if i'm doing md5 i'm going to be using zero when i'm using sha256 i'm going to be using 1400 and so on then let's go down and we have got a ton of hashes that you can use to crack then we have got output file formats right we don't need that uh, but we do need attack modes right so we, we will be using the combination or the straight attack mode and we have got the character set right and here we have got the example so let's just take one of the example and that's all we're going to do right so it's just basic hash cracking with hashcat so let me just copy this right and I'm gonna paste it but first we need to create two files first is the hashes file where I've stored all the hashes that I wish to crack and the second one is the word list file where hashcat will convert all of those words into hashes and then try to match it up right so let me just go on my desktop is where i have stored so i'm gonna cat the hashes file hashes or text so we have got two hashes so let me just add another so let me go nano hashes or text i'm gonna delete this one right whoops it might have some problem here so we are going to be creating two hashes so first is a hello world and then we are going to be creating let's hack right so let's go on md5 hash generator right so we are going to be using this one and let's type hello world right so this is a string that we are getting let me just copy that and paste it in our file then we are going to be using uh, another string let's say let's hack so as you can see, whatever character we are inputting, it is giving us the exact same number of values as I told you. So whether it be one string, one number, everything is just one value. That is what the magic of hashes is. So we, are, we have got two strings. Let me just save that. And let me see my word list file as well. Common, uh, whoops, I have saved it as common.txt. There is only one name here. So to get it a bit random, let me just go and search for word lists. Right, so if you want, you can do that. If you don't, you can just leave it out. But to give it a much larger search radius, I'm going to be giving it a word list. I bring on word lists, right? And we have got passwords. And uh, let's go on common passwords. And I'm just gonna copy this till, let's say, till around 100 passwords. All right, so let's go with 100. There are a ton of passwords, but I'm gonna only be using 100. So we have got nano. Uh, common.txt and let's just remove this for now paste everything and in between here somewhere I'm just gonna put the actual values that I have to get my hashes uh, cracked from right so there is hello world and then we have got what was the second one it was let's hack right let's hack all right all done let's save this file and now we are ready so first we are specifying hashcat, then we are using the attack surface as zero and we just have to change the M to zero because we are using the MD5 hashing algorithm. And so I just need to change these values. So first let's go on to, so I have to specify the exact path. So this is the exact path to the hashes file. Then we need to specify the path to the word list file. And once you're okay with that, just press enter, right? Oh, whoops, we have got permission denied, of course. So we need the power of sudo to do this so we need sudo and then it's going to ask me for my password enter and there you go so it cracked the hashes for us let me see so we got this one which is let's hack and then if you go a bit above it so it was was not able to generate hello world so let's see what was the reason for that so we got let's hack and as you can see it is cracked right okay so as you can see we have got the hash value so that was let's hack and it was just that fast and it is cracked and 
So that's just a basic tutorial on how, how Hashcat works and you can do this on any hash possible. So once you are in a bug bounty program or you're in a penetration test or you're in a CTF, let's say, you can use a word list like ROQ and you can use the hash values that are there in that have the password saved in hashes. You can take those passwords, you can put it in a word list with Hashcat and you'll get the answer in just about 15 to 20 minutes. Now we're going to be using our Python skills to generate an other program which can crack hashes for you as well. And you can modify the program however you want if you are fluent in Python. If you are not, I'm going to be taking you step by step through the entire code so you can understand what is going on. Let's get started. So this right here is the code that we're going to write and let me just explain roughly what is going on. We are importing the libraries and before I start writing my code, I like to just create an outline on what all we are about to do. So let's create another sticky note, right? So I'm gonna create another one, right? So here I've written on what all we need to do with this code. So first you need to import the hashlib library. Then we need to create a function to encode the data from the raw values that we're going to be providing it with to the hash values. And we are going to be using the hashlib library for this. Then we are going to be creating a function to iterate through each one of the word list and match the results. And if we find the result, we'll just display it. So it's not that difficult. I am going to be walking you. It just uses basic Python. And then last, uh, we just call the function. So this is the entire code and let's start writing it okay okay so i'm going to create a new file in visual studio code select the language python 3 right so first we need to import hashlib as told right so it's always good to write the comments and i'll also be giving this entire code in the description below in my github repository so you can use it from there and importing libraries okay right Next, uh, what was it? Next, we need to create a function to encode the data from raw text to hashes. All right, so we need to create a function. Let's say hash words or something like that. And then here we need to provide it with one argument. So we are creating a function with an argument in it that will get the word from the user and it will provide it in whatever the function has to do. In the next line, we are going to be using the hashlib library. So uh, let's just return one value. We just need to return hash lib dot we are going to be using md5 this time or let's say shard 56 shard 56 and we don't need these then we are just going to be providing it with one argument word dot digest yeah, let me just explain what that does and hex digest right so let's see what this is doing so we are using the hash lib dot shard 256 command and we are taking the words and this command right here so this digest command, it takes the word and it puts it in the function of SHA-256. And then at last we are doing a hex digest to just get the hexadecimal values of it. Next, we need to create another function, which is the brute force function, right? So brute force, and then we are going to be getting two parameters, which are word list file. And the other one is hash file, hash file. Now we need to uh, use the with command. If you are familiar with how to open uh, Python files, we are going to be using the with command to open the files that are already there on our systems. So we need to use the with operator. So with, we need word list file, word list file. Oops. So now we need to open the file. So with open word list file, then we need to specify that we just need to read the file and we need to do it just as file right so we need to save it as file and here we just need to uh, put all we need to, need, need to take each line in the file and we need to store it separately right because we need to take each line and do our work for it so we are going to be creating a word list variable so let's make it a list so we are going to be doing line dot strip which will get each line for us and for line in the file right so for each line in the file it is going to line strip for us and it is going to save all that in the word list so let's just copy this and we are going to paste it right here and we just need to change a few values we need to create this as hashes and this should be and here right here as word list file we are just going to be specifying hashes file so as as you can see we have got the two files uh, it is called hash file hash file so we have got the hash file we have got the word list file and we have got the all the lines saved in the word list and the hashes variables now we need to iterate through each line and we need to figure out what to put where so here we are going to be using we are first going to be creating an empty variable so let's say found values and let's put it there it's empty and uh, whoops we need to get this inside the function and next we need to 
create a for variable for word in let's say the word list that we created right we need to get the word hash so we need to get the word hash and here we need to call that function which is hash words hash words and we need to provide it with word right so if the word hash that we just created is in so it is in hashes then we just need to put it in the found variables so in the found hashes found values we need to put it inside the word hash right and this just needs to be word right and then we can just print this command which is we have found the word and that is going in the word hash right so we just need to print the word and we need to print the word hash and next we need to just create if it is not if not found values then we need to print let's say no hashes were found right next we need to just create an else statement that just prints the matched hashes so we are creating two other variables for h and w in the found hashes dot items so it is going to take all the items in found hashes or you can say in found values right and it is going to take all the items in that and it's going to display it right that seems pretty easy and that's where our uh, function ends next we need to call the function right so we need to specify the variable variables and we need to call the function. So uh, right here, I can just copy these two, which is the word list file and the hashes file, which is the word list file is common. The hashes file is hashes.txt. And here I need to just go right here, paste it, and then we need to call the function. So we need to call the brute force hashes function and specify the word list and hashes in it. So we need the brute force and which is word list file. So first we need to give it the word list file and then we need to give it the hashes file, hashes, hashes file. Yes. Let's save this as hash.py in my downloads folder, right? and let's, let me just run it whoops so it is giving me has no attribute digest where it is it is in so whoops it is not digest it will be encode it will be hex digest and it will be in code so as you can see it is telling me that no hashes were found and why is that because we used the sha256 hashing algorithm and this only has the md5 hashing algorithm all right so i just need to change that so let me just go on my file which contains the hex values of md5 i'll go on a SHA-256 hash generator, hash generator, and let's just generate some values, which is hello world, world generate, and so this is the hello world value, and SHA-256 always has 64 characters, so let me just paste it, and next we need to get let's hack, right, so let's just go right here, and type let's hack, generate it, and we have got another hash value, copy that, and paste it in a file right here. Save this file and then we need to just check on the word list file common dot text right here and see if both the values are there, right? So let's just find hello world, right? So we have got hello world right here. And if you find let's hack, we have got let's hack right here, right? So now we can just run this file. And as you can see, we have found matched hashes, which is hello world and let's hack. So that's how this program works. And this is just a basic Python program. You can modify it however you want. If you want this to be MD5, all you have to do is change this. And so thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash that like button down there, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.